Hi there, this is Marcus speaking and I'm asking you to give me two minutes of your time to show you our new web app service or in short WMS API. So if you stumble upon imagery that is served by web map service, you can now easily implement it into GLayers. So most of the time you're going to find a URL that leads to the capabilities of the WMS. This is great because that's all you need. So I'm going to take this URL and copy it. Then I open the preferences and GLayers. I create a new server profile. I select the WMS API and I paste the URL right here. Once you did that, you'll see the WMS layers pop up over here. And if you check them, they're going to be displayed. You can also drag them around to change the rendering order of the layers. If you're done setting up your profile, give it a descriptive name. I will swap this to the top. Hit apply. And we can use our historical maps. Boom, looks pretty blank here. Web map services often only cover certain areas, so just make sure your current view is right. WMS are used a lot for scientific topics, or like in this case, for beautiful historical maps. That's it, you can now use web map services in GLRS 2.